Okay, Joseph, if you can come up and then followed by Bob. Hello. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what exactly you want me to say, but... Um, story. Oh, my story? Oh. Well, I'm a busker just like anyone else. I've, um, I've been playing around the country, playing everywhere I've been, and uh, it's pretty much been my life. It's literally my livelihood. I'm solely and wholly an artist, and this is, this is my right. that I want to have the right to express myself and express my art, and I can't afford to be on a radio. I can't afford to like produce my own music yet, but... I mean, this is, like, really my heart and soul, and, like, to take that away from me, to take that right away from me would be, like, killing me or cutting off my hands. You know, this is, like, really my heart and soul of music. And, um... <clears throat> uh... I just, I just hope that we can find a way to coexist with, with, your, with your rules and maybe not have so much trouble and not have, be so persecuted every time I want to play music, whenever I want to express myself. And... I mean, if anything, it's going to enrich in Olympia for us to be able to play on the streets. Not to, it's not going to make it any less or more than anything else. It's just going to make it more beautiful, more creation, more creative, more connecting. It's connecting us. It's, it's bringing us together. It's building more culture. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, like, I know sometimes that business is kind of slow sometimes in front of a bar, and if I go out there and play, more people are more, like, called in that direction, and sometimes they don't even talk to me or even tip me, but they'll go inside the bar. I mean, like, I don't see how my music could really affect the businesses going on around here. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's about it. Great view. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>